In the kitchen today, I am going to make one of my favorite soup recipes from the Healthy Mind Cookbook, and it's called Cozy Lentil Soup with Delicata Squash. And I just want to say that there are a lot of herbs and spices in here, which makes the ingredient list look super long. But actually, I'm only cutting up an onion, some celery, carrots, and delicata squash, and throwing in some lentils with some broth. That's really all the ingredients. The rest is the, they're what I call the accessories, the spices. Here I've got curry and turmeric and cumin and coriander, little cinnamon, some red chili pepper flakes. You could use some of them. You could just use curry powder and, you know, instead of using one teaspoon, use two teaspoons and you'd be totally fine. So don't let an ingredient list throw you off and say, oh my God, I'm never gonna make this recipe. Follow me over and see how fast I can prep this out. So see how I do my carrots, like anchor them and over the sink. This is the base of soup. Any soup you make, onions, carrots, celery, it's the, it's the perfect trifecta. And see how I have it on my board? I have it so I can just dump it in. It's like three prep bowls that don't exist, just the cutting board. This is a delicata squash. So actually I could leave the skin on, but I'm making soup, so I'd rather not. So I'm just taking my vegetable peeler See how easy this, these are to peel? They look very daunting, but as you can see, they're not, look at that. Like the maracas. <laughs> First thing I always do is heat my pot before I put my olive oil in. That way it doesn't, it heats quicker. First thing I'm going to add are my onions. This is the cheater's way to do it. And I'm gonna take my dressing with the spoon. First thing I do when those onions go into the pot, I give them a pinch of salt because the salt acts like a scrubbing bubble and it's gonna extract all the sweetness from the onions so that we get really nice, sweet onions. This is how we start to build flavor, right here at this stage. This goes in. Now, since I've added a new bunch of characters in, I put another pinch of salt, stir it around. This is called stir to coat. It's already looking so pretty. 
Okay. okay. And this is where our spices come in. Okay. Right at this point. Now, I have got one, two, three, four, five. Actually, six. Six spices going into this soup. And, yeah, if you don't have all six of these, you can still make the soup. But I like adding a little bit of red chili pepper flakes. Not everybody does. So just, just a pinch, okay? And then I'm adding a teaspoon of curry. Now, here are my, these are my little handcuffs, okay? So like when I'm creating a recipe and I'm developing and, you know, I've got to get it exactly right, I will use my measuring spoons. But really, no, I don't like to. This is the way I like to cook. I go, oh, all right, like that. And, oh, a little of this. Maybe a little more of this. Like that. And sometimes what I do, this is a real time saver, is I'll blend my spices together before I even start. And then this is just a pinch of cinnamon. So this is where all the action happens, right here. Because then the spices, not only they blend with the oil in the pan, and that releases all of their flavor. Here, this is just super anti-inflammatory lentil soup. And I call it cozy lentil soup because it's got like this, you know, it's like having a sweater wrapped around you. These spices are so warming. And at this point, I'm going to put in my lentils. And I'm going to stir them around. Lentils are the little, they're like, they look like little flying saucers. They're, they're like nanobots for your brain. Now, this is where I take my broth, and here I'm using my magic mineral broth. But you could use chicken broth, you could use beef broth, you could use any kind of bone broth, you could use any broth that you want. Oh God. Oh my God, the smell. I wish there was smell of vision mm. The smell of the curry and the spices is intoxicating. This is why I love to make soup. So it's coming to a boil and I'm gonna put the lid on it. And I'm just gonna turn down the heat to about medium low and let it simmer for about 25 minutes. And then I'll add the kale and we'll have soup. Mmm. Yum. The most important thing, the smart, sassy little soup with all those warming spices hits the yum button.